can show you the information. Just one thing I will show here for a CPU Z though is keep in mind that for that memory, um, it, you still have to do a little bit of math if you're gonna use CPU Z. So a lot of people use CPU Z and they'll make, re make a recommendation, but I think task manager is more immediate because it actually gives you the correct value. Mm -hmm. If we go here on CPU Z and we go to memory, you're gonna see 2000, which will, show, which will be confusing to a lot of people. Cause it'd be like, wait, 2000, that's less than four. Remember, you have to multiply because it's DDR. So you would have to multiply that times two, and that would let you know that you're writing uh, 4,000, right? Yeah. Did you mean DDR5? Uh, excuse me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I said DDR just in general, right? Because yeah. if you had DDR4 memory, you would still have to do the multiplier. And if you had DDR5, you'd also still have to do it. So it yeah, doesn't matter. But I do either. think this is the CPU uh, Z is still important because I've had instances where a uh, task manager just can't read it or reads a random number of memory. Sure. Yep sometimes even laptops because laptops and memory sometimes is integrated and stuff so a task manager doesn't quite know what to read but cpu z you can easily read the right frequency there so that's a good tool